Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, and I'm here today with Draco, of course. And so we are going to take a look at the Glenmore 2 uh, Chronicles. But this is the expansion. I really like the. Um, I really like Glenmore 2. It was one of my favorite games from last year. It was. Uh, I don't remember the number now. I had it on my my top 10 games of 2019 list and I played this the first time at SN Spiel last year it was really cool uh, to play it uh, got like invited to, to try it out with the uh, publisher and so on I really enjoyed it so now there's an expansion out on Kickstarter today so I wanted to check it out of course and I'm a little bit early I guess so well uh, people are starting to join in I hope the sound is okay in the stream everything is okay with the stream I had some issues when I was going to start a stream, so there was like several streams starting. I don't know why. I never had that before. But my mind is a bit um, out of it today as well. It's so hot in Sweden. It's probably hot in uh, everywhere right now, so I shouldn't complain. But we're not used to having this heat in Sweden. It's usually a, a cold country. And yeah, I was planning for a lot of stuff today. I was going to assemble a bunch of board game inserts, but that didn't happen because I was just... I don't know. I... Draco doesn't seem to mind the heat though. I don't know why. For some reason. Alright, so we are at the 9 o'clock time. So let's start talking about Glenmore 2. Highland Games, that's the expansion it's called. And it says up here, and I already backed it. Basically because it said up here it's going to be in a Toma solo mode. And that was everything I needed to hear. Because uh, that's been like the only downside for me with this game. Is that I cannot play it on my own. So let's uh, start looking at it here. It says, it says a little bit about the Kickstarter uh, that was for the base game here. And a little bit welcome here. It looks, I like this artwork so much. I think this looks so good. I mean, it looks like the, the base game, right? But it's such a good um, style of artwork in my opinion. Then there's not, the pledge levels are not that complicated. It's like, you know, you can pledge without a reward or a one euro. Um, or for 60, you get the actual base game. And for 92, you get the bundle. So you get both the base game and the expansion. And, oh, it's up here. It's because I already selected it. That's why it's up here. Uh, for 35 euros, you get the expansion. So that's what I'm going for since I already have the base game, right? Um, but it is there's not like a lot of different variants here. Okay, so the new Chronicles This is a really cool thing here. full full solo mode supporting eight Chronicles and The price your opponents with end of round bonus scorings Follow your athlete journeys to fame fortune and great rewards Plan and overbuild to construct the most impressive monuments. Okay, so monuments. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. And yeah, tell me in the live chat if the sound and everything is okay, or I can adjust the levels, of course. So, pledge levels here. Different languages as well. Something weird with Swedes. In Sweden, we don't like to use our own language in, in movies or games or anything, really. <laughs> we prefer English. Uh, we're so, I don't know. And that's basically the levels, component overview. So yeah, looks good here. Some new cards, I guess, for like the different what's it called? Clan clan board effects. Okay, so what's new? Uh real challenges ahead. So three new chronicles. Also comes with full solo mode, Atoma. All right, and what's this? The changes in the world also influence board gaming. Yeah, of course they made a, a Toma system, right? And it's the Toma factory, so I really like that because they made such a good, you know, AI or Toma systems earlier on. So as they even show here for Sight, Wingspan, and especially for Gaia Project, I think that is a, such a good Toma. I hope this one is. Um, of the same type where you have these like you're having tapestry as well where you have two cards and then they combine together basically here we have the 
Yeah, the Lady Magnificent is the one we will be fighting against, yeah. Okay. And that's pretty cool as well. The, the authors, uh, like that. And let's see here. Okay, so this will work with the Dragon Boat Races. Highlander, they can only be one. Single Cask. Uh, Address to Haggis, which uh, might be my favorite, even though it's it's very random. <laughs> but it's fun. And yeah. I think, oh, and it also, of course, works with what lurks beneath the Promo Chronicle there. So, um, okay, so these are the ones that are supported there, yeah. All right, then we have Feast and Follies, hosting unforgettable festivities. All right. Predict your advers adversary's plans and hold the most prestigious events before they can. Don't forget to get your priorities right. Um, Rudiger Dorn's edition. Okay. That's pretty, <laughs> that's nice how they did this, so. Rudiger Dorn is saying, I already like the first clan more by Aleia. And here's some games that he's done. And the components. And then we have sticks and stones. We're supposed to, um, athletes, stone throwers, okay. Um, yeah. And that's Johnny Pack. Oh, he designed the designer of Coloma and Sierra West. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> recognize him, but all right. Then we have the. Plan and prosper with overbuilding tiles as a focus, it seems like. So you can build these like castles on top of the ruin. Like, yeah, the monuments, right? Uh, it's not enough to take a tile from the rondelle. Instead, you take a tile as a construction plan, but you will build it later when you have placed the most effective neighboring tiles. Okay, so you have to start planning. You place the ruin first, I guess. Then you build up the castle. Hmm, okay. And there's a bunch of designers for that. And here's the components. Overall, it look, just looks like we get more fun stuff, right? But the, the main thing for me, at least, is the solo possibility to play all these and all play all the other chronicles as well, the old ones in solo mode. And additional here, you can get metal coins. Um, multiple inlay options. Uh, okay, so you can get like a laser insert. That's pretty cool. I have, oh, I can't remember now. I have a bunch of laser inserts that I am going to build and review. I can't recall if I have the Glenmore 2. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not sure. Um, then the promos. Uh, Okay, from the first Kickstarter and to be announced. Okay, so there's something new coming there as well. And the coins there, they are really nice. And partner with Laser Rocks, that is cool. Okay, so here we have like a massive game chest that can store both the base game and the expansion. That is 60 euros though. Um, for this box here. They look kind of cool. And brand new promo. Okay, replacement person tiles to feature famous women from Scottish history. Okay, so you replace them then. And Tom Vassell was blown away by this. And Silo, yeah, that's about it. And development, artist, graphic designer. And I like how they did this, like really present everyone on the team here. That's nice. And here we have the shipping. That's the last thing I'm going to look at here. We have the um, rest. Yeah, okay. So that's the expansion. Okay, it's so only for the expansion. It's not that bad. Okay. Well, that is the uh, Kickstarter talk through. I don't think it's not that much to look at in this one. 
Uh, it's not like some of these uh, uh, Wake of Realm games or whatever that, you know, it takes a while to just go through everything here. And FAQ. Mm, pick up. No, not because of Corona. Why are there no stretch goals? I kind of like that they don't have stretch goals, right? Uh, I kind of like that overall. I kind of like that idea. I mean, I like I see the selling point of having stretch goals, but okay, it's already funded as well. <laughs> I just realized that's nice. Okay, so um, tell me in the comment section if you love if you love Glenmore uh, too. Are you going to back this? And what what are your thoughts about this uh, game? And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little quick talk through. Uh, it was a lot quicker than I initially was planning maybe but it's not that much to talk about in this one and unless you have some questions you know but you can put the questions in the comment section as well and you know thank you for watching like the video subscribe to the channel and soon we'll be at the 5000 subscriber mark and then there's going to be a celebration weekend where i also will do a huge giveaway for the subscribers so don't miss that it's going to be so much fun uh take care have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching bye bye